The December update for Pixel phones is now live and with it, it brings a feature that I've been waiting for since they were talking about it on stage during the release of these great phones and that of course is Video Boost. Now for those of you who did not get the update yet and you want to try to maybe manually update your phone, go ahead and go into your settings, scroll down and then select system. Then all you gotta do is tap on system update and press check for update. Sometimes whenever you do click that check for update button, it'll actually refresh the update and bring it to your phone rather than waiting for your phone to tell you there's an update which sometimes could take a, you know, a few days up to a week. Once you've updated your phone, you can go ahead and open Pixel Tips and you'll see what's new with your Pixel phone and everything it can do. And among that, there's Video Boost and Night Sight Video. Now, Video Boost will enhance your video after you've backed it up to Google Photos and that video will be sent to some Google data center for processing and it should give you back a better and more stabilized result. Now, this is usually the part where I show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of how this Video Boost feature looks like because I've been waiting for it for so long, but I don't have it on my phone yet. Uh, I guess Google needs to do something on their end to enable it because I am on the newest update. And as you guys can see, the, the well, as you guys saw, the pixel tips does show that video boost is now here, uh, but it's not. Uh, in fact, I don't know anyone that has it. I've spoken to a few people with the Pixel A Pro. None of them have this feature, but apparently it's here. So I guess we're, we're just still waiting for Google to click that live button. But there are still some cool things that you can play with right now. This update brought some new AI features such as reducing shadows and it even softens harsh lighting on your photos. And this of course will work on photos that you've taken on any phone. This means you can clean up photos that you've had for years and years and you can make them look even better all thanks to AI. And from what I've noticed, if you wear glasses, it will also help eliminate the reflectivity of your glasses just a little bit. It doesn't make it too artificial, but it, it, it does it ever so subtly, but I think the result looks pretty darn good. What do you guys think? Furthermore, the recordings app also got an update. So now AI can summarize your recordings, which is amazing for those that like to record a lecture at school, for example. So instead of listening back onto your recording or reading the transcript, you can now have AI summarize it for you. I'm telling you with this entire AI boom, mobile phones are going to be so much better and so much more helpful than ever before. And I'm telling you every company that is not invested in AI right now, they're going to get left behind in the dust. Right now, Google is punching and punching and punching forward. I mean, we got uh, uh, Gemini Nano on our Pixel devices. If you have a Pixel 8 or the Pixel 8 Pro, you now have Gem uh, Gemini Nano built into it, just like that. Like no hardware necessary, it's all software, obviously. But that, that's so cool that you know Google's not making us wait for the Pixel 9 to, to get that Gemini AI feature, which by the way, is responsible for doing the whole video boost thing which is not live yet, but it's coming, hopefully like this week. AI is gaining so much more popularity that even Apple's next iPhone is apparently gonna have AI built into the chip as well. So like I said, all the companies need to be investing in AI right now. Another pretty cool demonstration of AI is cleaning your document scans. So yeah, that's a thing. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you put an important document down on a coffee table and later find out that that table is wet, and it leaves a stain, well, you'll be able to clean it up all thanks to this new update. Can you guys guess what I'm about to say next? That's right, I can't use it yet because it's not live yet, but it's here. It's here, but it's not here. It's like, it's like Schrodinger's cat. You know what I mean? It's alive, but it's not alive. Boy, do I miss those times when Google's updates were actually like meaningful and you get everything on day one instead of updating it. Having the tips app tell you that you have the update, you have all these new features, but then when you go and try and use them, you can't. I love it. I love it so much. Another new thing this December update brought is that now if you have a Pixel Watch, you'll be able to be, you'll be able to be, that's good. English is great. You'll be able to, what am I trying to say? Hang on. You will be able to unlock your phone with your Pixel Watch. There we go. Love it. So yeah, for this to work, your Pixel Watch has to be on your wrist. It has to be unlocked via the pin code. And then if your Pixel phone is in great proximity to the watch, it'll unlock. It's basically similar to what Apple does with their Apple Watch and their phone and their laptop. So just devices talking to one another. This is nothing new. I'm actually kind of surprised this was not a feature prior to December. So, uh, but it's here now. So again, for those of you who have a Pixel Watch and are not selling it on eBay because Google was bundling it, with the pre-orders, 
well, you, you, you can now use it. So that's good. But there is a feature that's actually missing. Google said it was supposed to be here by the end of the year and we're already in December and we've already got the December update, but the feature is nowhere to be found. It's not even talked about. The Pixel Tips app doesn't even say anything about it. And that is the AI enhanced zoom. Google, where is it? If the AI zoom works as good as Google showcased it, I want it because, you know, the Pixel 8 Pro goes up to 30 times zoom uh, just, you know, by itself using the phone's standard processing and the results are okay. They're not bad, you know, but they're not something that you want to frame up on a wall, right? But if this enhanced zoom can make it even better, I'm all for it, but there's no mention of it anywhere, literally nowhere, not on the Pixel Tips app, nowhere online nothing. Look, I don't want to be that guy that says Google over promises and under delivers, but it's surely looking that way because, you know, when they're on stage taking pre-orders, taking people's money, saying these phones are going to have these features by the end of the year. Well, okay, fine. The end of the year comes along. We get the update. We get the December update, but the features are not here yet. I mean, that's, that's going to kind of leave a salty taste in some people's mouths or a sour taste, not salty. <laughs> Yuck. I'm going to put a link down below to all the new features that this update has brought us, or should I say brought us. So if you guys want to read about them in more detail, feel free to do so. And that's it. This was just a quick little update video. Make sure you do update your phones though, even though that these features are not here yet. It's just always nice to update your phone with the latest security patches and everything to make sure your phone is running as good as possible. Um, you can still play around with like the, the portrait lighting and all that, that that's also new with this update. So not everything's missing, but a lot of key features are right. And, um, yeah, that's it. This was Mark from Mark's tech. Adios.